Welcome to my weapons tutorial for the 18 Warthog. I'm looking at Mavericks today. I've got a simple mission set up here. It's um, the shooting gallery mission. If you just go into missions from single player, it's there. Start out with um, JDAMs. Oh, we'll have a look at those in a moment. I've got the zoom there hooked up to the um, increase and decrease throttle friction slider on the Hotas Warthog throttle, which is really helpful. There's my front dash. I'm just going to go through in some detail. This is the left MFCD, this is my tab page, which is my map. And you'll see it's giving me the local surroundings. Up in the top right you'll see the digit 5. Uh, that's meaning we're at the 5 kilometer range that we're viewing this from. There we go, I'm circling it now. Now I'm going to hold left coolie hat long, or coolie hat long left, to make the um, tab page soy, the sensor of interest. Two, passing waypoint 2 at 1,600. One of my co-pilots. Uh, so now you see the number in the top right indicates the range of the map, so it's currently on 40. The inner ring means halfway, so that's the 20 kilometre range. You can see most objectives are in that range. 80, 160 kilometres. Okay, so I'm just going to go from probably the yeah, 10. Gives me ample time. This is the um, systems display, so if there's any malfunctioning critical systems, they'll display here. This is the targeting pod camera, which means I need to switch it on, which is that switch there. Uh, you can see now it's got not timed out, so it's warming up. It's not soy down the bottom, so it's not the sensor of interest. This is my DSMS page, the digital stores management system, showing my weapon loadouts. I've got some um, hydro rockets uh, on the top. I've got some GBUs, I've got a bottom units. I've got Maverick D and Maverick H. I've got the lightning pod. Um, and I've got the AIM-9, which is the Sparrow Sidewinder, I'm not sure, air to enemy side. I don't actually know what the lightning pod is, I'm not sure if it's my targeting pod, I figure it is. Right, switching weapons on, you'll see that weapons off is now backlit by green rather than white, that indicates the gun is live. And I can start dropping bombs if I wish. Right, so I'm going to select my Maverick D's, the first target we're going to shoot at is some T-55 Russian tanks. Alright, so I'm just flicking through that with coolie hat short left. Now, coolie hat short right, this is my CDU page. I'm going to show you this is a CDU repeater. So it repeats what's on the CDU panel to your right, near your right leg. See right there? With the whole keyboard and the like. I'll try and zoom in. My track IR was a bit messed up while I was uh, trying to record this video. So that's the CDU repeater page. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff you can do in there that I'm not going to go into detail. I don't know most of it. That's the message page where you can type messages using the CDU panel keyboard on your, near your right leg. That's your TGP. Which can appear on both monitors. That's the Maverick. I've just turned on the Maverick sensor heads and that timer in the bottom right indicates um, how long has passed since I turned them on. It takes about... It takes about three to four minutes. Standby attitude indicator is what I'm circling. There's a clock in temperature. Okay, these are my radar types. So... Yeah, we have a so that's all view. I'm selecting on steer point. That's... I can't quite see it. That's tack aim, which is your inner refueling. ILS is your landing system. Yeah, and AI is so annoying. Error on my dials. I'm um, telling you temperatures, pressures, so on. I'm testing the fuel there. So it tells you how much fuel is loaded in each wing. Turning on my... Passing waypoint 2 at 4, I don't give a shit, shut up. That was turning on my um, jammer and my chaff dispensing units. Uh, a whole bunch of dials there you don't really need to give a shit about to fly the plane. Over okay, here's my radios. Again, having some trouble looking left and right with the um, track IR in the cockpit for some reason. It might have been how I was situated to the monitor. Alright, so the aircraft is ready to go. This mission will cold start, will warm start you on the runway. This is the warthog from afar. The level of detail is uh, just phenomenal. Yeah. Every rivet, when we're up in the air, you'll see some of the uh, ailerons and so on moving. Alright, I'm switching my TGP to air to ground, so the camera is now deployed, and I can use the targeting pod to, well, target things. Target targets. Alright, increase the levels to 85%, my brakes are on. I'm going to take my brakes off and then slam the throttle into 100%. Oh, 
I'm uh, recording at this point, I'm getting around 15 frames a second on the ground with the other aircraft near me. Not ideal. I'm going to use that as my excuse for why I'm waving all over the place. It, it was a little glitchy, a little laggy. But your co-pilot's pretty good. They'll um, take off on grass if you push them off the runway. You can see the target pod there reflecting the runway ahead of it. Yeah, very cool. All right, I'm probably not going quite fast enough here. Oop, bit of lag. And I'm up, there goes my gear. I've uh, increased or raised flaps 20%. So flaps are now in the up position. Paw 3, passing waypoint 3 at 4,000. Passing waypoint four at three thousand. Right, so we're going to go look at a thing, couple of things here. Hog two on station at bulls one one nine seventeen at three thousand five hundred. Hog three, tally bandit at so, bulls zero seven two four twenty. Is the targeting pod? I've held. Hog three in front of northeast, engaging armor at bulls one one eight four seven. We'll slave your TGP Hog to whatever waypoint. That little star on the left of the display there, just above where it's got M slash MAD, that little star indicates that the HUD is now soy, the sensor of interest, so that whatever commands I input into the joystick and throttle operate on that. Now that I've made the targeting pod the sensor of interest, it's got the strong uh, green square around the outsides of the monitor, which indicates whatever I'm doing with the throttle and joystick will now manipulate that monitor. So whatever HUD, or whatever sensor, sorry, is the sensor of interest, whether it's the left or the right MFCD or the HUD, is the one that your various commands will control. Although TGP to slave to your steer point is always trying to have that long. Right, that little um, symbol there, the circle with a couple of lines out of it, the longer line is obviously, I should think, um, pointing towards the target. You'll use that to navigate. That symbol also represents approximately where your plane is going to land should it continue to fly in a straight line. So uh, you will use it for like landing. You'll place that right at the bottom of the runway as you come in and uh, aim to keep it there until you flare, which is when you pull the nose up so that the rear wheels make soft contact with the ground. All right, so we're gonna start talking Mavericks shortly, I think. I haven't really timed this video out. I just knew that I could talk shit for as long as I can. We've got three minutes left, so okay. I'm going to use the targeting pod to, so I'm going to hold coolie hat right long to make my targeting pod on the right MFCD my sensor of interest. So coolie hat right long. I can then use the little finger nubbin thing, which you can see me starting to do now, to move that targeting pod around and line up a target. It's getting obscured by the wing. As I'm <laughs> you don't notice it so much when you're in game, but they are really fucking annoying. Okay, so I've selected a target and I have pressed up once on the TMS button. Up once on TMS short and then up once TMS short again to put it in point mode and then I've held TMS up long to set that point that I'm aiming at as my sensor point of interest or my speed. So my targeting pod right MFCD is soy. I'm, I've got a speed there. What I'm trying to do here while we're watching is you can set by using TMS right short you can set um, whatever you're pointing at with the targeting pod as a waypoint. You can then um, slave your TGP to your waypoint and cycle through your waypoints, your waypoints, and it will um, it will then flick the camera across your target. So it means you can go in and essentially release as many Mavericks as you can carry, because once they're fired, they're just going to hone in on their cameras. All right, so now that uh, target is the speed. I've switched to the right MFCD with coolie hat right short. Um, you can see it's the center of interest still. The green squares around the outside. All I'm doing now is flicking up on the TMS, just up, 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 up to get a lock. 
um, the lock range on these is um, okay so there you'll see I'm 9.9 .9 kilometers away it's dropping when it's within that little bandwidth below it the little gate uh, that's when it becomes uh, like it, it can become active generally it's around four to five kilometers so a pretty close range missile not good if you're taking on Tunguskus with 20,000 feet engagement range or 20,000 something fuck if I don't I get confused with all the units Okay, I'm struggling a bit. My trimmer isn't working on my joystick, on my beautiful $700 joystick. So that's a bit of a shitter. So I'm having trouble maintaining steady flight with the aircraft while I'm trying to properly show sensors for the video. Anyway, so as I'm getting closer, and that um, we're in the gate now, only about a quarter of the way in. Warning, autopilot. Autopilot here so I can safely watch the missile as it comes off the rails. Yep, aircraft's riding itself. So you'll see we're right within the gate. Alright, flicking up, 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 up. Just trying to get a rifle. There it goes. F6. And that's how you get a Maverick kill. It's beautiful to watch. Hog 2, Tally Bandit at Bulls 116. 22 at 3500. Hog 2, Tally Bandit at Bullseye 116.